Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Mark Gingrass here and I'm at a website called reddit.com. If you have not heard of it, you probably should check it out because it's pretty, pretty awesome. Anyways, what I want to show you today is how to use R in a package called Extractor, Extractor, uh, to extract comments and to find URLs that have specific terms in them. And what better way to do it than to actually give you a practical lesson on how to do it in real time here. So let's go ahead and find, first we're gonna do it the easy way. We're gonna find a Reddit that we wanna check out. Like I've got uh, quite a few here. Let's just click on, um, just randomly picking one. So this is live. Ask men over 30, I love this Reddit. Uh, so let's just click on this particular one here and I'm gonna grab that URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and command C that. And as you can see, there are comments, but there's not that many comments for this one. There's not that many, but that's okay. Because that's part of what I'm gonna show you is find a way to find a Reddit that has more comments. So we'll do that programmatically as well. So this is a really good, good way to do this. So let's go back to R. I've got a little bit of a shell already built here. We're gonna skip some of it. Okay, so you're gonna be using the Tidyverse and the Reddit Extractor package. If you don't have those two installed, click on install and obviously just type in Tidyverse, which you should have if you followed along with any of my previous exercises. And then Reddit Extractor, just click on install, let it do its magic and you're good to go. So Reddit Extractor and Tidyverse should be installed. Do that, then you can load these libraries. So let's load those two libraries. We're gonna skip lines four through Eight. I know it's hard to see, but we're going to skip this for now because I'm going to show you this in a minute what I'm going to do with that because we already have a website. We're also going to skip line 10 and by skip, uh, I'm literally just not going to run those. You should comment them out if you're never going to run them, but we're going to leave that there for a second for a placeholder. And now what I want to show you this is this function called Reddit content. Now Reddit content comes from Reddit extractor and all you have to do, this is how simple this is. This is amazingly simple is put it in quotes so add some double quotes on both sides and control v or command v and paste that url in there see it's all in there and it's in there now so on line for me 12 i'm gonna do command enter and you'll see how fast this is down at the bottom you see it's 100 percent done what it did was it extracted those six comments so there wasn't that many so under content if i click on it now what you see is you see the subreddit it's called ask men over 30 You've got the comment date and you have the structure and a few other things on there. Let's scroll to the right and you'll see the actual comments are here. So you have all your comments. We've just literally extracted the comments and the URLs that go with them. So what I want to do is I want to write those to a CSV file so that we can maybe cut and paste into some sort of, I don't know, a text to speech synthesizer, throw a YouTube video on there and make money off of it. Something like that, right? Who knows? So this write.csv does just that. And I really only want the comments, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do uh, content dollar sign com comment, because that's the name of the feature or the header that you see the name, the header name. I'm gonna call it test.csv and I don't need row names. That doesn't mean anything to me. So let's go ahead and write that. And we go to our files here and you see test.csv. You can go find this in your directory if you'd like as well, and I'm just gonna view it right now. So here they are, here are the comments, which is kind of cool because I think, oh, it actually captures the markdown language as well. That's pretty interesting. Now there's ways to programmatically strip the markdown, there's ways to mar programmatically uh, make the markdown happen. There's all kinds of things you can do with this, but I've got the general idea here. So what you can do is just copy and paste this into a text-to-speech synthesizer, make that into a uh, mp3, throw it on some sort of video, and put it on YouTube, right? So that's the idea, is how do I scale something so that I can always have YouTube content that I don't have to actually produce because there's only so much time in the day. It's just, a, just an idea, there's there's already tons of that out there. People do it with Python quite a bit, honestly. So anyways, there's one of many, many, many ideas you can get. So we have that information there. Now, that's cool because we already have the URL that we were looking for. Now, what I wanna show you next is this, this function here called Reddit URLs, and it has a bunch of different parameters. It has more parameters than what's shown here. 
Um, but what I want to do is I want to add search terms. So I'm going to add a search term called Trump in there. I don't know if it's case sensitive or not, but I guess we'll find out. And then the CN threshold is your comment threshold. I don't want it to return any URLs that have the word Trump in it. So in Reddit, the way that they do their URL has to do with the name of the title. So if the title has Trump in it, it's going to pull it back and it's going to give it to me. And it's going to be a threshold of, it has to have at least 20 comments or more to come back. And the page threshold, don't worry so much about that, but that's just the amount of results you want. And you can probably get as many URLs as you want, but when you get them, you can't extract all the data at once. There's limits to how much you can extract at one time. I'll get to I'll get more on that in just a second. Let's go ahead and run this. We got the word Trump in there. Hit enter. Let's see if we even get any results. So it looks like links. This might be from uh, previous uh, time I clicked it, because as you see down here, this little stop sign. Oh, it's gone now. That means it ran. So 92 observations of five variables. So let's click on that. Now I have links. So I have the title. See, it all has Trump in it. It looks like it's not case sensitive, which is good because really Trump or capital Trump. So here's Trump here uh, that's lowercase and so you have all the URLs and that's what I'm really after the URL now this might be useful in itself because it has a number of comments and the title which is kind of cool you can sort these by comments if you click on that so 23,000 comments on this particular one with this particular URL so you can see how this could be beneficial it depends on what you're doing and, it's, and it tells you the subreddit it's under a subreddit called ask reddit so pretty pretty handy information here so let's go ahead and take what we found here this knowledge and bring a we want to bring the comments in based on maybe the top comments or something like that right so let's see if we can do that it looks like our row numbers are over here but I'm not 100% sure if that's really true because um, I'm not sure if there's so there's 252 and there's only 92 observations so that's not true statement that is not a true statement, so disregard these numbers over here. It is not true. So you got to be careful with that because this is a package that we don't know what it's really doing. So what it probably does is it goes through every URL and and it dis and it discards the ones that have less than 20 comments, but it kept the row numbers as if it didn't discard that. That's a very um, subtle thing that's hard to see, but just so you know. So these row numbers are not actual observation numbers, so be careful with that. Anyways, let's just go ahead and uh, close this out and let's go down here where I have this other content. So I'm going to comment this one out, which it shouldn't matter if you run these in certain orders, but I don't want you to get confused. So, so this particular way right here was when we had the exact URL we already had, but now we can extract the URLs this way. We can actually plug in, hey, I want the fifth URL, the tenth URL, and do it that way. It's going to do the exact same thing as if as if I, if I copied and pasted it, but we get to choose from what we just picked up up here. So maybe we want to do the max, right? Maybe we want to find the one with the most amount of comments and extract those. So how can we do that? Let's see, let's see if we can do this here. We can do a, we can do a max function, and I know we can get back by bringing in the links, dollar sign, num comments. This will give us the number though, not the actual index number. Like I still don't know what row that is, right? So that's, that's also a problem, I don't know the row. So what I can do is I can say, bring me back, uh, let's let's use the tidyverse, this is why we have it. We're gonna do uh, links, I'm gonna bring in the links data, pipe it over to a filter function, I'm gonna filter, and I'm gonna say filter, I'm gonna say I want the num comments to be equal to the max number of num comments. And if I hit command enter on that, you get the actual URL. See the URL? It actually just showed up down here. So that's what we want. So we're gonna say max URL is equal to that. And this is just on the fly. I don't know. Let's let's try it. Max URL. So I'm gonna command C on that. And instead of the this particular URL right here, where it was just grabbing the first one, I'm gonna delete that out. Command V in there. So I have max URL. I want the max URL. And the wait time two is where if in in the API for Reddit, they're gonna let you extract only a certain amount of comments per minute, per two minutes, per whatever. And so the default is two minutes and that's the least amount. So you can you can grab a chunk of comments, wait two minutes, grab another chunk, wait two minutes. So that way everyone's not using all of their comments and bogging down the system and making maybe, you know, 
unfair advantages or something like that. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to do command enter, error, uh, invalid URL parameter. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> so max URL uh, is actually, because of the way this is set up in the tidyverse, it's actually a data frame itself, as you can see right here. Uh, max URL, if I click on it, you'll see it's a data frame with one observation. So, but we're almost there. So we know we want the max URL and the only observation in there, the first one. Boom, there we go. Command enter on that. Ooh. Oh, uh, double whammy, uh, dollar sign, URL, first URL. Here we go. Well, I'm glad that I uh, could solve those pretty quick, but you're gonna run into that quite a bit. So just don't be discouraged, it happens to, to everybody. So I have uh, content now, 499 observations of 18 variables. Let's click on content. And now based on that URL, which you can see over here, I still should have the URL, yep, on the right hand side. I've grabbed all the comments and you have all this different, um, all these features, the comment date, the number of comments, things like that, which the number of comments are the same because we grabbed the max. Remember it was 23,000 something, there it is. So we have that and over here we have a feature called comments and we have all of the comments. Now I am only particularly interested in the comments, so I'm gonna go ahead and extract those and put those to a CSV file. So that's what I have here. So I have my content that I just read all the comments on, and I only want the comments, so the dollar sign comment will get the feature, and I wanna bring it to a file, write it to a file, it's called test.csv, and I don't need the row names, I'm gonna hit command enter on that. And normally you wouldn't quite do it like this where the comment dollar sign it's just because it's not really a comma separated value in that case I don't think let's click on test.csv and see what it, what it looks like view file well it, it's more like a, a, a every time a, a comment happens there's a return character in this particular case but it's a separated value you can see that each comment is on its own line so to speak right and what you'll notice too somewhere maybe is uh, yes so like this one right here that's called markdown language so it actually keeps the markdown language now there's ways to strip out markdown and convert it to non markdown there's ways to do all kinds of things with this right here but this is actual the actual comment that somebody put in reddit with that language with the brackets with the parentheses with the urls uh, reddit allows those inside of the comments so we've captured that which is actually pretty awesome data to have but it might not make sense if you can do a text-to-speech recognition synthesizer, or text-to-speech synthesizer and put this on YouTube and try to monetize other people's content. Hopefully non-copyrighted or something like that. So that's the idea. So again, let me run this, run this through one more time. We have search terms equals Trump. This is to get the links that have those terms or the titles. We didn't have to do that. We could have plugged in down here on line 14, the actual website that we're interested in, the URL for the Reddit and then you wouldn't use this line here but we did we wanted the max amount of comments we wanted that particular story right now there's other terms inside of this reddit urls you could have put in here for example i could have put in comma uh sort sort by equals new and that would just give us today's let's see so right now links has 92 observations let's go ahead and run this one more time the links so anywhere in here, just do command enter. And now I have nothing. So there are no, um, nothing new. I don't know what the threshold is for new on this. So we have to look that up. If you did a question mark Reddit extractor, and then you'd have to go find out through the documentation what new means. So new is definitely not uh, gonna get us far with this. New could be within the hour, could be within the day. I don't know, it's a little bit vague. But for now, just know that there are different thresholds you can set, different parameters, and that's it. It's pretty cool. Now, do what you want with those and expand on this and try to automate more of your daily life. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these comments. I'm going to try to see if I can spit these into like a Final Cut Pro type plugin maybe and automate comments. And they're already out there, so I know people are doing it. But now you can do it just like that. All right, so if you found this helpful or have some modifications or some cool little things you want to add to this, comment, DM me, do whatever you can, follow me, and I will see you in the next video.